Hello! Hi guys, it's Anam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 Super Close-Up of the Black Mist Edition. Along the top of the device here, hopefully you should be able to see in the light there, the diamond effect of running through the black material. And incidentally, this runs across all of the device, wherever you have that black material there. You can see the earpiece with the Samsung branding just underneath it, with sensors either side there used to detect motion, whether it be for the hand movements or head motions and you've got the 2 megapixel front facing camera right next to it. If we move the device around you should be able to see the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, you've got the secondary noise cancelling microphone and you can see I've left a sticker on there which says Qualcomm 4G and here you have the infrared LED sensor as well. Along the right hand side of the device you've got the power button, very simplistic minimal design with uh, just a small logo above it symbolizing that it is for the power. You've got the inset there to get the back off, like so, bringing it back from the same location that it used to be on the Galaxy S2. And if we keep on going, it's just a nice silver straight-ish edge bezel. Not as curved as what used to be on the Galaxy S3. Along the bottom, you've got the micro USB with the, the microphone next to it there as well. Carrying around the bezel here, and this is now the left hand side of the device where you've got the up and down volume rockers along the top and as you can see we're back around the top now. What we'll now do is just take off the back cover just by flipping that open a little bit so just make sure it's okay and as you can see here here we have the 13 megapixel camera with the LED flash just below it and here you can see we have the micro SD card slot just side by side the micro sim card slot as well and underneath or just slightly below all these components you have the Samsung Galaxy S4 battery with near field communication built in so what we'll do just get that out of the device so I can just show you just put that down a second just to give you a close up of the battery as you can see there the 2600 milliamp hour Samsung NFC enabled battery here. We'll just put that down a second and just bring the device back in. In the battery compartment you've got a small label there just giving you the model number and the IME numbers just underneath and as you can see towards the bottom of the device the speaker is quite a bit larger than what was used on the Galaxy S3. We'll just put the battery back in now just leave that and slot it back in and just put that down for a sec so we can get the, the back cover just slotted right on and it slots on, clicks in, easier than it did on the Galaxy S3 definitely. So just bring that in a little bit closer, again just so that you can get a feel for the material used. Once that focuses in a little bit, you should be able to see the glossiness of the back cover and that diamond effect running through that black material there. Certainly the, the white model didn't seem that glossy to be fair, but definitely Along this black model, it seems more glossy and fingerprints are being picked up a lot more easily than they were on the, the white model. Back around the front where the earpiece is along the top of the device and if we go down, you can see the diamond desk effect is going through even a very thin bezel there towards the sides of the unit and back around even at the bottom where the home button is and even when you turn the buttons on press the menu and the back they shine through very very nicely indeed and hopefully the camera is picking up on the diamond effect of those buttons as well when they shine through them so we'll just put the phone down for a second. We'll just go through some of the components that came with the device and here we have the three pin UK power adapter with a USB 2.0 port along the top. And this incidentally just clicks in, it comes in two parts like so and it just clicks in place like so. We'll just put that down a sec. Next up we have the standard USB lead here. So along the one side you can see we have a standard USB 2.0 connector here and along the other side we have a standard micro USB connector here. We'll just leave that to one side as well and here we have the additional 
earphone silicon plastic covers if required for varying ear sizes pretty much know what these are so we'll leave these there as well and finally we have the earphones included with this handset you can see the samsung branding along the outside there and if we turn those around so you can see the silicon plastic covers as well you've got the left right marked on the very bottom of the earphones just there this is flat tangle free cabling here you've got the volume up and down controls call pickup and also a microphone along the back of this little control unit as well and if we keep on going down you've got a little splitter that goes up so you can adjust it as well and if we keep on going through to the bottom of the cable itself we shall finally come across the standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack there with a nice white plug and finish and you should have actually noticed that although this is the samsung galaxy black mist edition that we've just did a super close-up of all the accessories that come with it are actually white i would have thought they would have been black to match the handset but apparently not but anyway guys that's been the super close-up of the samsung galaxy s4 any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well it doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have an awesome day and we'll see you next time